St. Marie. Present location, vicinity, road junction, Zebra. Still under heavy enemy pressure. Over. back about three more miles and regroup. There's a rock quarry about half a mile up on the road. A lot of equipment, all civilian stuff. The crops could use it to fix up the road. Here, fill up on thermite grenades. Let's go, soldier. Curry, burn that engine. We'll get the six by. Race not one, not sorry. Rick Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Fernando Lamas.
Anything that's got a motor in it, just burn it. All right, let's go. You see anything? No. Okay, Joe and Kirby, pull back on the road. Circle our ridge and take a look. We gotta figure something out. That sniper keeps us pinned down much longer than half the German army crawling over us. Draw us fire. Keep your eyes open. Get ready for him. Civilian. Civilian. Keep him busy. He is a civilian. You speak English? What's your name? Paul Bertrand. You always try to kill Americans? When they try to destroy my equipment, yes. Your equipment. I own all of this. The quarry is mine, the machinery is mine. Do you hear mine? I have my orders. Well, your orders are wrong. This equipment is my property. It has nothing to do with the war. Except when the crowd's using, huh? Go on, get on with it. Now wait. Now again, I tell you. I warn you, you have no right to do this. No, I just have my orders. Go on, burn it.
Kirby. Besides, this guy just about broke my neck. You know, Sergeant, for four years I've been with the Marquis, fighting for my country. I lose my home, my family, everything. But I wait. Oh, yes, I wait. I wait for the Liberators to arrive. And when they do come, what happens? They destroy everything I have left, everything. I, I build all this with my own hands, no help. No. Spare motor, a part here, a part there, I put it all together. Yes. I began a future for myself for, from this mountain. And now... You don't have any future as long as the Germans are in your country. The Germans did not destroy my equipment when they were running. They probably would have if they had the time. Finished? All done. Let's get out of here. Yeah. You better leave with us. I will stay right here. I'm gonna hang on to your rifle. Just in case you start sniping at us again. Let's go. Sergeant! I will not forget what you have done here today. Bad dog. Well, he's not gonna walk out of here. Well, nobody's gonna walk out of here. There's a dozen crowds out there. American! I call on you to surrender! Doug, can we carry him on a stretcher? Well, not until I stop the bleeding and make a splint, and then we gotta find something to make a stretcher. American, do you hear me? We're being paid, Sarge. Sergeant, your position is desperate. And so is yours. Me? No, I'm a civilian. I don't even have a gun anymore, remember? But you, you and your men would be wiser to surrender. I'm not going to surrender. And I'm not going to forget because of you, we just got pinned down. Americans, you have no chance! You surrender! Seems that those who came to destroy will now be destroyed. Thank you. 
Sarge, suppose I try to flank the machine gun, get them to divide their fire. A lot of no man's land out there. I'll go. Probably now we'll get it covered. Go. Good, Sarge. As I said before, Sergeant, you better surrender. I don't know how to use it. Keep your mouth shut. How's he doing, Doc? Pretty bad. Think about it, Sarge. Maybe there's another way out of here. Huh? Maybe we can drive out in this bulldozer. Well, you're kidding. Why? What's a bulldozer? They pick us off like flies. And if we raise that blade for protection, figure out some armor to put on the driver's seat. Oh, Sarge, you're wasting your breath. I smashed this engine already. Maybe we can fix it. Well, with what? Listen, you said you built a lot of this equipment. There must be some spare parts lying around here, something we can get this thing going again. Well, Sergeant, do I, uh, do I understand you? You mean, uh, you come here and you, you held me at gunpoint, destroy my equipment, and now you want me to, to fix it so that you can save your life, huh? That's right. Well, uh, you're either the biggest fool in the world, or you think I am. The answer is no. Because it can't be fixed. Because I don't want to fix it. Because I don't want to help you. Kirby. You think you can fix it? Uh, Sarge, I busted this carburetor up, and the throttle linkage is bad, too. What about a carburetor and linkage? Do you have it? Listen, even, even if you could repair it, you have no time. Soon the Germans will be here with the heavy armor. Yeah, they'll blast you and me and my machines out of here. Now, a spare motor I can repair, yes. Carburetor, well, carburetor maybe I can replace. But those big guns on the German tanks, they'll blow up everything to pieces. Pieces! There'll be nothing left. Surrender, Sergeant. Surrender. Yeah, we're not gonna get nothing out of him. Sarge, so there ought to be some parts in that truck over there if it's not burned through. What about that wagon over there? What about those steel plates? What about it? How heavy are they? How thick? I don't know. 
What are you going to do with this steel plate, Sarge? Working for the driver, giving protection. How are you going to keep the steel in position? Well, we could brace it. There's a settling rig over there. Can you handle it? Well, we can try. You got any brazen rods around here? Yeah. And the shack. But there are also many boxes of dynamite. If you go in there, one stray bullet... We'll risk it. Now listen. Listen, my supplies are there. My, my tools. Engine parts. I'll lose everything. Besides, the Germans will be here before you're half finished. We don't have any reports of any German armor around here. It's worth a try, Sarge. I'll go for the stuff. I'll go with you, Lou, John. Two's better than one. All right, Kishan, I will give you cover. Can't make it back. The crowd's got a line on them with their machine gun. How do we help them, Sarge? Sergeant, after four years of fighting, I'm lucky enough to come back and find everything intact. Now you want to destroy it, needlessly. You cannot win this fight. You cannot. Before this day is done, this man will be dead and we have nothing left. Because you are stubborn. Man lies dying next to a machine, all you can think about is a machine. The machines is all I've got. Doc, how is he? He needs a hospital, Sarge. He needs a doctor. Another reason to surrender. The Germans must have doctors with them. We ain't gonna get back the way we came. I'm not this year. I wonder if we could throw it over to him. Might be worth a try. Did you ever play much baseball? 
I used to have a pretty good arm. Well, you're it. Okay. Here, use this. size will it fit? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, show this. Now what? Load of steel. Once I draw the fire, you take off at our welding rig and drag it back in here. That's a long run. Only if I don't make it. Raising rods in that shack over there? Yeah. Lucky, Sergeant. Takes more than luck. Is this what you want, Toby? Yeah. Yes, Sergeant, I'll do just fine. Okay, you take care of the motor. The rest of us will start rigging those steel plates.
Hans. Was machen die da? Keine Ahnung. Erik. Du und Hans geht über den Berg von hinten herum und versucht er von hinten anzugreifen. Los. Was machen die da? And they're just waiting for one of us to make a move. Risk your life for him. Because he's bleeding. Now give me cover, all of you. Good. I 
Uh, Sergeant. You're a fool. You think... You think this will change anything? It changes things, all right. I have two wounded to worry about instead of one. Complicated man. Not complicated at all. He just knows the difference between right and wrong. That's all. But I, I didn't ask him to to risk his life. Why? Why should he? Well, you know, the same brand of bullets was coming at all of us. You know what your trouble is? You don't know your friends from your enemies. Sarge, we ain't gonna know that till we try to start this thing up. You ever run one of these things before? I can try. Did you? No. Sergeant, I, uh... Thank you. Yeah, we'll save it. Just tell me how to get that bulldozer started. I will drive it. You mean you want to help us? Yes, I do. Gentlemen, your courage is contagious. You're pretty badly torn up to drive. You all that wound, your lung will bleed to death. Now, do you want it to help you or not? Huh? Why not take it easy? Get up on the drive's platform. Just like it was a tank. Let's go. Now I... Uh, I'll try to start this thing now. Let's see now.
Okay, Sarge. How about you? You all right? I'll make it. Okay, we better pull out of here before those crowds come back with some armor and pin us down with your machinery again. Uh, what does it matter? Maybe we can make a big cannon out of the out of the steam shovel and blow them all up, eh? Come on, let's go home. 